Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. Welcome to part 9 of our beginner's guide for Windows Server Active Directory. And let's see what we have covered so far. So we have understood flexible single master operation rules and we have gone through the schema master role. We have done with domain naming master, RID master and the infrastructure master in our previous sessions today we are going to understand the next fsm role that is the pdc emulator so before going ahead let's recall again what a domain controller is so in the world of active directory any computer on which active directory database is present can be called as a domain controller or any computer on which active directory domain services are installed and configured can be called as a domain controller so here we have two servers paris dc and uh, sydney dc on which we have installed active directory domain services so we can call them as domain controllers and we have say other devices in our infrastructure laptops desktops say other servers such as your database servers web servers file servers etc so we cannot call them as domain controllers because they don't host active directory database so we can call them as member computers so these are the five fsm roles so we have covered schema master we have covered domain naming master we have covered rid master we have also covered infrastructure master and today we are going to take a look at the pdc emulator so the pdc emulator is a domain wide role like in one pdc emu uh, say emulator domain controller per domain and pdc stands for primary domain controller so it's the name pdc is carried forward from windows nt and uh, emulator means pretender means it pretends as a window p uh, as a windows nt pdc so in earlier days uh, when active directory came in uh, the pre windows 2000 computers were getting authenticated by pdc emulator so the pdc emulator is the busiest of all the fsm roles so as as you know that there is only one pdc emulator in an active directory domain this is a single master operation role so only one domain controller in the domain is designated as pdc emulator so let us understand the functions of pdc emulator very important PDC emulator acts as a time server for the entire domain so we will say see this particular function in detail in our upcoming slides and any security related changes on any other domain controller are first replicated to the PDC emulator domain controller let's say a user changes a password so that would be immediately replicated to the pdc emulator or an account is locked out again that's a security related change so it will be immediately replicated to the pdc emulator domain controller and that's the reason pdc emulator is the supreme authority for any security related conflicts so any security related conflicts with any other domain controller they will refer pdc emulator and pdc emulator's say answer will be treated as the supreme answer so pdc emulator is the supreme authority for any security related conflicts in the domain and again that's the reason group policy is also resides on our pdc emulator let's say if you make if you log on to any other domain controller make changes on any other group say any group policy it will be made against the pdc emulator so these are the say four basic functions of of pdc emulator 
so let us understand the first one that is time synchronization so how time synchronization happens in a domain so we have this contoso.com domain and we have say four offices over here so we have london office or london site which we have a domain controller name london dc and we have say some devices we can have say some laptops desktops and some servers in our london office same thing goes with our seattle office we have one domain controller seattle dc and some devices in seattle office we have another office in dubai and we have some devices in our dubai office as well and we have an office in sydney and we have one domain controller with let's say few devices in our sydney office and this london dc is our pdc emulator so what will happen is all the other domain controllers in our entire contoso.com domain will sync their time with the pdc emulator so this will make sure that the entire time is same or standard there is a standardization of time in the entire domain time plays a very important role in say account lockouts or any security related say uh, conflicts or even group policies time play a very important role so there has to be a mechanism in which time is the same across all the domain controllers in the same domain and that is taken care by our pdc emulator so pdc emulator again we can say it's a time server for the entire domain so all the other domain controllers will sync up its their time with the pdc emulator so this is how time synchronization happens in a domain now let us understand how time synchronization happens in an active directory forest because we have multi there can be multiple domains in a particular forest and every domain will have its own pdc emulator so we have contoso.com forest with three domains contoso.com west.contoso.com and east.contoso.com and we have some domain controllers in every domain and here we have the pdc emulators of each and every domain so we have one pdc emulator per active directory domain now what happens is let's understand how time synchronization happens in an active directory forest so the target over here is the entire forest should have same time that's the entire goal which which active directory needs to achieve so we have microsoft time servers on the internet and the forest root primary domain controller emulator or pdc emulator will sync up its time with the microsoft time servers which are on the internet and the do the primary domain controllers of other domains will sync up their time with the primary domain controller of forest root domain so contoso.com is our forest root domain and west.contoso.com and east.contoso.com are just normal domains in this contoso.com forest so the pdc emulator of the forest root domain will sync its time with microsoft time servers and other pdc emulators in the same forest will sync up their time with the pdc emulator of the forest root domain so let us understand how security related changes are immediately replicated to the pdc emulator now so we have this contoso.com domain again we have say few sites over here so we have four sites london site seattle site dubai site and sydney site 
So London office has three domain controllers, London DC1, DC2 and DC3. Same thing goes with Seattle site, Seattle DC1, DC2. In Dubai office, we have three domain controllers, Dubai DC1, 2 and 3. And Sydney DC, uh, we have Sydney office, we have say four domain controllers, Sydney DC1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, uh, let's see how security related changes are immediately replicated to the PDC emulator domain controller. And London DC1 is our PDC emulator. So let, let's say a, a user from Seattle office changes its password and this password has changed against the Seattle DC1 domain controller. Now as soon as the user changes the password, Seattle DC1 will immediately replicate the password to the PDC emulator or update the password to the PDC emulator. So this is called as say security related changes will be immediately replicated to the PDC emulator domain controller. And same thing happens with all the other domain controllers. So any security related change will be first replicated or informed to the PDC emulator because PDC emulator is the supreme authority for any security related conflicts. So we can say that password change, account lockout or even a user say group membership change can be called as a security related change. So any security related change are first say informed to the PDC emulator domain controller of our domain. This is called as immediate replication. So I'll be taking up replication in our upcoming sessions. So let us run down through the summary of today's session. So we have understood what a PDC emulator is. We have understood the functions of PDC emulator and we have also understood how time sync happens in a domain and in the active directory forest and we know that as PDC emulator is the supreme authority for any security related conflicts, PDC emulator is the busiest of all the FSMO roles. So this was enough part 9, hope you have enjoyed today's session and thank you again for joining and if you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new please subscribe and share this video with your technical community and i request you to put down some comments on the topics which you want more videos on i'll be very happy to create the content so thank you again and have a great day